If you want to get super close up views of items such as a circuit board or stamps or coins or nature, then the macro feature on your digital camera is just not going to cut it. You need a microscope. This is a USB microscope from the folks at Jujun. Now I'm going to test this thing out and see how well it works. That's coming up on Thrifty AV. This Jujin USB microscope is something that I bought myself. I found it at a very affordable price on Amazon about a year ago and then I misplaced it. I couldn't find it for a long time. Well, I just now found it again, so I thought I would review it and see how well it performs. But wait, this is out of the box. Let's back up and check out the unboxing. I believe the brand is pronounced Juzion. It's a digital microscope. It is a USB device. Uh, some applications, skin inspection, hair inspection, educational purposes. Uh, print industrial, industrial inspection, jewelry, stamps, textiles, uh, biological inspection, and others. This is the 1000X and it is black. All right, let's get into this box. Here is instructions on how to use it. I'll read that later. Here is the mount for the microscope. There is just one thumb screw that's used to tighten it down with. The USB is not a separate cable, it's directly connected to the microscope. Here is a USB type C adapter. And we have some software. And this is a calibration ruler. Now I'm hoping that this is detected as a, just a regular old imaging device, just like a webcam. So I'm going to plug it in here. Ooh, and the light came on. And it says it's setting up the device. And now the device is ready. I'm going to launch just uh, the Windows Cam software. Oh, there is a little lid on here that I'm going to take off. And if I point this down at the table here. You can see the wood grain of the table. That's pretty interesting. All right, let's take a snapshot of that. And I have a snapshot of the wood grain of my table. This control right here is a little confusing. You might think it's a zoom control because here it says 40x and here it says 1000x. But this is really a focus control. You can position this at a further distance or closer up to an item and you'll have to adjust the focus depending on how close you are to the item you're looking at. While I was in the process of demonstrating the Jujin microscope here, the little LED lights in here stopped working. And you might think, oh well, there goes that review. But this microscope comes with a lifetime warranty. I've had this over a year. I contacted them. I sent them a picture showing that it wasn't working and they sent over this one, this replacement one, with very few questions asked. So the warranty service is very good. I'm happy with the customer service. I don't see a point in doing another unboxing so let's just get into this one and demonstrate it. I mentioned the trouble I was having with the light on the other unit. There is actually an adjustment for the light on the USB cable that lets you dim it or brighten it. And this is important because you want the brightness to, to be good on the object that you're looking at. Okay, right now I'm looking at the electronics on an old video card. Here's some surface mount resistors. This microscope is basically treated like a webcam by the computer, so you can use OBS Studios or any other software that you use with a webcam. I'm using the Microsoft Camera app, and right now I am looking at some surface mount resistors. I'm going to go ahead and grab a picture here. And that picture that I just grabbed is 640 by 480. 
But this microscope is useful to check, you know, solder joints and make sure all the solder is good. Uh, so you can use this for electronics applications. Now it is January, uh, so my garden sage isn't exactly thriving right now. But I pulled a leaf off to show something that you just can't see with the naked eye. There are tiny little bristles all over this sage leaf. Here it is in full 640 by 480 resolution. Here we are looking at the grooves in a record and you can actually see where the track is changing. This is going to be the silent spot between track one and track two of this record. I'm going to take a quick snapshot of it. And you can actually kind of see the little bumps that cause the needle to vibrate. Of course, an electronic scanning microscope, you could go way up tighter on this. But this is just a budget microscope from Amazon. If you look at modern currency, you'll find a lot of features that guard against counterfeiting, including micro printing and little colors of thread in the paper itself. Let's take a real close look at this bill. Right now we're looking at the right side of a $100 bill and you can see some micro printing right here. This you can actually see with your naked eye or at least with a magnifying lens. But this micro printing here that's on this border, that is absolutely tiny, tiny, tiny. And you see little 100s up and down it. Okay, I'm looking at a different part of the note and you can see these little blue threads in the paper and that helps distinguish this paper as actual currency paper. It's kind of hard to tell here unless I move this bill, but there's a holographic uh, blue strip running down this $100 bill. If I slightly bend the note, you can see that the holographic blue strip changes. So that's another interesting feature. And here you can see the textured gold colored Liberty Bell. And you can not only see that, you can feel that with your finger because it is highly textured. The 100 on the back of the note looks golden, but if you zoom in real close, you can see that it's made up of three colors, red, gold, and green. Perhaps a historian can let me know what the significance of the clock being 1030 on Independence Hall on the back of the $100 bill is. I've really only looked at a few things here, but there is a lot of things I could look at through this microscope. So if there's something you want me to check out through this microscope, let me know. I'll see what I can do. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you to my patrons for supporting this channel, and remember, stay thrifty, everyone.